EBC Bakes is filmed in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> Hi everybody, Eva Black Cat here. Um, kind of doing a little uh, impromptu thing, uh, thing here because uh, Wednesday was my birthday. So we're making my birthday cake today. Actually we're making cupcakes, but same thing. She's anyway. evil I tell you, evil. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe him, I'm not evil at all. There's no reason you should think I'm evil. It's not like in my name. Anyway, uh, we're gonna make black magic cake today. And black magic cake is a really good, very yummy, dark chocolatey cake uh, with a, a coffee it, it flavor to it and it's a uh, hot fudge frosting. So anyway, uh, we kind of didn't have everything pre-prepared like we usually do, um, but we're going to give it a shot and see what we can do. Okay, so the first thing that I need is one and three-fourths cup of flour. Now this is also kind of strange. Flour's first one. Because of the fact that uh, this recipe doesn't have butter in it. So you're pretty much putting all your dry ingredients in, and then your wet ingredients, and then just mixing them up. But hey, it, it comes out good, so whatever. Uh, okay, let me just tell you what we're going to need, then I'm going to put it all in here, and we'll come back to it in a second. You're going to need one and three quarters cups of flour, two cups of white sugar, three quarters cups of unsweetened cocoa powder, two, spe two teaspoons of baking soda, a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, two eggs, a cup of strong brewed coffee, a cup of buttermilk, a half cup of vegetable oil, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm going to go ahead and do the dry stuff and then we'll be right back with you with the wet stuff. Okay, so we got all the dry ingredients. My brother is whipping me apparently. <laughs> we got all the dry ingredients. Uh, mixed up here, whisked up, and so now we're just going to go ahead and start adding in the uh, wet ingredients. And One sec. One at a time, please. Thank you. Wouldn't want to spoil all that good dry ingredients. I know, right? You make a very good point. Which is funny, because actually when I'm doing this by myself, I would have made sure that I did that. But it's good to have you here. Not just because you finance everything and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay, so we get the eggs in there. I'm going to go ahead and very lightly turn this on. Okay, so the eggs are one cup of strong brewed coffee. Probably let the eggs mix a tiny bit more for the. Yeah. Put buttermilk in first. That's a good idea. Yeah, because you don't want if it, if the coffee's still a little buttermilk. warm, you don't want to pour it on top of the eggs. Let that mix up and then put the coffee in. Nah, that's good thinking. So let's go ahead and turn that up a little now that it's wet. It's pretty much lukewarm. It's not bad. Okay, good. Blech. <laughs> and I got it all over me. Good job. <laughs> okay, so... Now we just need the half cup of vegetable oil and the teaspoon of vanilla. They keep mixing a bit. I gotta get some of that coffee off me. You can use that cup there. Fill it up to that bottom rim. That's a half cup. Oh, nice. Thank you. Since the eggs are good, it ain't gonna hurt to use it. Some people may say otherwise, but... <laughs> That's their problem. It's all going to bake. The eggs, the eggs are in here anyway. I mean, come on. Seriously. And a teaspoon of vanilla. There's your teaspoon. Already grabbed out. In case you can't tell, like I said, this is kind of a, a last minute thing here. Yeah, so nothing pre-measured today. We've been outside planting berry bushes. Exactly. And I'm just all over the place. And so is the vanilla. All right. So we're going to mix that up and we need to 
get out our cupcake pan. And it's actually going to be, uh, this is actually, I'll let it keep mixing for another minute or two, but it is going to be a very thin batter. It's a very liquidy kind of thin batter. All right, so we got our batter all mixed up, and we're going to go ahead and put it in our giant cupcake. Yeah, it ends. Well, I think that might be about right. What do you think? Mm, just a teeny smidge more. And I'll be good. Laugh track. I love it. <laughs> and in case I forgot to mention, preheat your oven to 350. Alright, so now we're moving on to the frosting. And I already put the one stick of butter in there. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm getting a little ahead of myself again. Um, and like I said, this is a hot fudge frosting, so... We've got actual hot fudge to put in here. But first, let me unwrap the shortening. And I'll put the amounts down at the bottom because I don't remember them right now. You mean at the end? What's that? You mean at the end? No, at the bottom of the oh, screen. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to cream the butter and the shortening together. Okay. Something funny! <laughs> okay, that was brilliant. <laughs> okay. I have my moments. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and add a cup of fudge. Now, uh, it, it's hot fudge, so just the ice cream topping. And different flavors will give you a very lovely, different kind of uh, frosting. So I often like to get like the uh, Hershey's Special Dark. Uh, or, we're just using regular hot fudge this time, but oh, if you get the dark chocolate, it's so if you like dark chocolate. If you don't like dark chocolate, so get whichever hot fudge you like. Okay, so uh, we've got our hot fudge mixed in. We're going to throw in the sugar. Should I throw it in all at once, you think, or do it a little at a time? It's up to you. You're like, I don't care what's in. And our, hot, or our cocoa powder. And I'm going to do this slowly. Until it all gets wet and then I'll turn it up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're actually going to go ahead and skip the milk because uh, it's not really needing it. But it's there if you need it. Add some in until it's where you want it to be. Also, this is not only the butter, but also the uh, hot fudge is going to get kind of liquidy or, you know, it's going to melt at room temperature. So you might want to put it in the fridge for a little while, which is what we're going to have to do because it's kind of hot in here, and uh, that'll stiffen it up some. Yeah, so the uh, cupcakes have cooled off now. They will be a little sticky. The, this recipe will make a very moist cake, and it will feel a little sticky on the top. That's fine. Um, how long did it take us, Mom? How long did it have to be in the oven? Um, about 25 minutes. About 25 minutes, and these are the bigger but, cupcakes, so but, the cupcakes yeah, are less. But use a toothpick. Yeah. And put in it rather than, you know, pressing the top or anything. Right, yeah. No. Check them with the toothpick. Okay. Okay, so the first ones that we're going to do, we're just going to take a big old bunch of frosting. I think it might be a bunch of a big old bunch of frosting. <laughs> well, frosting is different than other things. You, you can take off better than you can add. Of course, I'm not doing either of those things at the moment. I'm just smearing it around and not really doing a very good job. <laughs> then we're going to dip them in the just like we did with the bunny tails before chocolate coconut this is also a very moist cake and can fall apart easily so you want to be gentle with it all right now my mom's gonna do a couple of things because hey it's my birthday and i shouldn't have to actually do all the decorating myself that looks so good. Mom's actually much better. Th Mom has actually taken classes on this. Yeah, these aren't that great. <laughs> well, this frosting... Frosting is a little hard for decorating. Yeah, it's not exactly meant for piping. It's meant for tasting really freaking good. 
Um, I'm not sure what I would suggest in order to make it better for piping. What, maybe adding more powdered sugar or something? Probably. Yeah. Stiffen it up for this the piping. This is not the, the tip that I would have normally used, but this is more, it coming out kind of like ribbons, so I kind of mm -hmm. like it. It's interesting. Instead of stars, we got ribbons. Now, this is my absolute favorite cake, and, uh, and my favorite recipe. <laughs> You're on a timer, Mom. <laughs> nice. Looks interesting. Uh huh. I like that. And the thing about this frosting is even more so than regular frosting, this stuff will change with the room temperature, and it's really hot in here right now. It's that hot fudge, which is so yummy. Oh, I did tell him about the cake, too. Mm -hmm. You've got to be careful of the cake. Yeah, and you definitely want to be careful of the cake because it's, it's really soft and moist and can fall apart easily. This is not, I've never actually decorated these before. I usually just smear the frosting on it and eat it, but we wanted to do something, and Mom wanted to do something for my birthday, so she's decorating my cupcakes. Well, That's pretty looking pretty good. I like that. Also, one of the things I want to do with these is show that baking, oh, my hand's in the way, baking is for everybody. It's in the reach of everybody. You watch these these baking shows on TV and stuff and people have gone to French schools and learned how to do all this stuff and it's like, you know, you really can as the average person make something absolutely delicious. May we? <laughs> That's why sometimes we will use mixes, even though we did not this time. But there's no mix that tastes like this. <laughs> uh, one of these days we will actually just do a soda pop cake where we take a mix and put soda pop in it. I like that one. <laughs> yeah, that out of the was, that was a bad ah. Uh... They're chocolate bunny tails. I'm just trying to see how much frosting we got. Yes, go. Of course, I can edit this as needed. You should probably say something rather than just playing. I have said some things. Okay, just making sure. I'm annoying. I just want to make sure that you're on there. I am on here, uh, but you shall not see If you want me to stop recording you, I can stop recording you. I don't care. People should know to le never let me near anything they do. I know, right? It's only going to cause trouble. Yeah, that's kind of the point. That looks really neat. I like that. That's cool. Yep. Kind of looks like a flower. The problem is frosting gets warm really fast. Yes, it does. It gets warm and it starts melting. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with just smearing it on a cupcake and eating it. And at this point, I'm going to have to take a shower when I get done. <laughs> hmm, let's see what kind of trouble can we get into here. Oh, yeah, there, she's getting into that. trouble. Huh? You don't have an. I don't have, Ooh. I don't, no, we don't. Trouble. <laughs> it's fun getting into trouble. Alright, so that has been Evil Black Cat's birthday cupcakes. The, uh,. Black Magic Cupcakes with... <laughs> okay, the Black Magic Cupcakes with Hot Fudge Frosting. Um, 
I'm pretty much just gonna go eat those now. So if you guys enjoyed this, uh, give me a like, give me some comments, let me know. Let me know what you want me to do. I do have some other videos that will be coming out that aren't baking, but we're going to keep up with the baking as well whenever I can. Um, obviously, it's hard to get out and get places right now, so I'm sure you all understand that. Alright, so uh, just let me know. Um, so thank you guys for watching, and uh, this is Evil Black Cat wishing you love, luck, and legendaries. Later.